Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Jamie Tourmaline, and I just wanted to give a quick little fireside chat about Mercury retrograde. Um, so right now, Mercury is retrograding in the sign of Sagittarius, and it started this transit in December 13th, and it's going to carry us through the end of the new year of the year into the beginning of the new year and it's gonna go direct on January 2nd in Capricorn. So a lot of people when they hear Mercury retrograde, they hear all of, you know, the memes and the things like um, you know, a lot of people just don't know what it means, but they assume it's gonna like fuck up your whole life and stuff like that. And that's not necessarily true. So the whole thing with Mercury retrograde is that it actually illuminates the shadow. And I'm just going to take a seat here and talk about it with you. So Mercury retrograde is a great time to confront your shadow. And especially as we're closing out 2023, it's a great time to reflect on the year, but also to cut ties with whatever was not serving you this year all of the relationships jobs friendships um behaviors that you no longer resonate with it's time to cut it loose it's time to cut the cords that bind you to them now mercury retrograde can mess with communications travel legal documents or cases um, all sorts of things that Mercury oversees. So anything relating to Mercury, even like talking to one another, um, electronics, these things can malfunction and cause some temporary distress. Mercury is a day-to-day -day planet. So our day-to-day -day planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, even Mars, um, and then our bigger, more long-term influential planets are Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus, and Pluto. Um, so Mercury is really dealing with the day-to-day, -day, the here and now. So what you can do is confront your shadow as it comes up. So whenever you're in a situation that's extremely frustrating, or you know, gives you rage or makes you feel sad or any other intense emotion, then that means that you should take a pause to feel your feelings and don't shame yourself or guilt yourself for feeling it, but redirect that energy elsewhere. For example, you could be stuck in like a road rage situation where drivers are just aggravating you and people are driving crazy um, and you feel like that sort of rage that comes up and you can take a moment to pause and breathe and acknowledge that the way you feel is valid and it you know you don't have to shame yourself for feeling that way but maybe redirect that to channel into manifesting like thinking of um, something you want to manifest or shifting your emotions into gratitude. Um, yeah, because you have the power to shift your thoughts. You're not, you are not your thoughts. You are the observer of your thoughts. You are the person who is watching and listening to your thoughts. And like I said, having negative thoughts is not a bad thing. It's not a dark thing. It's, they sh it's not that they shouldn't exist. But it's, it's the alchemy of being able to transform your thoughts from negative to positive. And that can really help influence your life significantly. So let Mercury Retrograde be your channel. Be the in driving force into entering the shadow work and removing all of the things that will hold you back in the new year. So if you can work through this now, you will catapult yourself into success into the new year.
So let me know in the comments if you have any questions, but this Mercury Retrograde is not something to fear. It never is something to fear. It's always the guide that can help you achieve even more success if you let it. So thanks for listening and I'll see you guys soon.